How's everybody doing out there on this fine Sunday afternoon? Hey, you might hear some little bit of rain in the background, um, which is which is nice actually to me. It's relaxing. So, hey, I just want to come at you and um, there's a post I posted on Facebook today of why we magnify the Apostle Paul's office and not Paul the man, right? So, I just wanted to give you a couple scriptures. Um, I was going to read one verse. And then I was going to give you guys some verses to go study it out on your own, showing why you need to follow Paul, because Paul was the last one that Jesus Christ spoke to. Paul was the one who fulfilled the Word of God. Paul was the one who Jesus revealed the mystery to. That's why you need to be following the Apostle Paul in Romans through Philemon. So I'm going to start off with 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Be ye followers of me even as I also am of Christ. So without Paul's writings, you will not be able to prove basic Bible doctrines. Uh, and I'll give you a couple for an example. Salvation by grace through faith, justification apart from the law, a church body no longer separated by Jew and Gentile, the fall of Israel, and God's prophetic silence for approximately the last 2,000 years a heavenly position in Christ, and then full atonement of your sins. So those are just a couple things that, that I wrote down that are basic Bible doctrines that you will not be able to approve without Paul's epistles. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a couple more verses. So I want you to write these down. Romans 11, 13, Romans 15, 16, Galatians 2, 2, Ephesians 3, 1, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 11. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 7. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 17. And realize that 2 Timothy was the last book of the Bible ever written, right? Because Paul says over there in Colossians 1, 25, he fulfilled the word of God, correct? So Paul was the last one to write any book of the Bible, and 2 Timothy was the very last book of the Bible. So that's why you find these great truths in 2 Timothy. So... Hey, I just, I just want to bring that to you today um, and let you guys know, hey, we follow Paul's office, right? We magnify Paul's office. We don't, we don't magnify him as a man because he's just like us, right? He wasn't Jesus Christ. He wasn't perfect. However, he did write 13 books of the New Testament, and he is the one that revealed the gospel of the grace of God to us by Jesus Christ, right? So... That's why you need to magnify Paul's office and not him as a man. So anyway, man, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Grace and peace to all of you. Till I see you next time.